Many of you have heard of the song Saturday in the Park, I think from a band called Chicago from years ago. Well, this is Saturday, and this isn't a park. This is actually a park land. So I guess uh, to, be, to, be, <laughs> to be specific, I am at, uh, this is a Saturday in the park land, and the park land being the Roma Street Park land here in Brisbane. And I am on a little bit of a exploratory slash recon for a venue that I'm going to be visiting in a few hours after the sun goes down called the Enchanted Garden. And the Enchanted Garden is just a spectacular display of lit uh, lit gardens, you know, with, with thousands of lights and and it looks like it's just uh, supposed to be really, really a, uh, a spectacular show. As I'm walking in here, they've got the, uh, the garden room worm, worm farm right here, composting coffee grounds. So I would imagine if they're composting coffee grounds, there's probably a, a cafe, and sure enough, there is. Look at this, just no shortage of little hidden treasures as I explore this city here in Queensland. Really nice. Not a lot of people. I just came from a rather busy commercial district here in Brisbane. And it's kind of nice to be quite honest with you to get out here. This is actually called the Garden Room, this, this cafe. Look at this. Very, very nice. Kind of going quickly because of the the music that I hear playing. Every time I hear music playing, I think to myself that it's going to uh, compromise the ability to, to upload it. Look at this here. Boy, this is really pretty. Really, really pretty. Queensland Grates, the hub, Spectacle Garden, and Colin Campbell Place, the Amphitheater. Theater. Wow. Look at this, the Queensland Great Awards are an initiative of the Queensland government honoring extraordinary Queenslanders who remarkable long-term or lifetime achievements have made a significant contribution to the history and development of our state. You know, actually as I'm walking right now, it is hot. It is, uh, it is rather hot. It's humid humid more than than hot and I can see a lot of the I can see lights here so the venue that I'm going to tonight it's called the Enchanted Garden and they just have just quite a few lights and these might be part of them right here you can see these blue lights here and then something down here I see a lot of little food trucks on an open open lawn area but this really is quite interesting as I look I'll share this view with you now there's not a lot of people down there mind you but there's certainly no shortage of, of food trucks maybe there's something that's going to be happening a little bit later so they've got uh, quite a bit here it's straight ahead the hub and spectacle garden your children's garden, Sunset Glade. Just not quite sure what all to uh, what all to share with you. Boy, there's quite a bit. Look at this. Boy, it's really pretty. Really, really pretty. Those of you that remember the last time I was here in Brisbane, will remember when I went over to the botanic garden and that was quite quite gorgeous but now coming through here I see this is equally if not more beautiful than the botanic garden where I found myself some time back very nice I'll walk up a little ways further they actually have an area here where you can come and watch movies outdoors up here they have a looks like an amphitheater 
and then just up just up ahead I believe they have the the children's garden so we will uh, we will go see well it's not the children's garden it's the spectacle the spectacle garden the children's garden is just across the way over there but here is the this would be the spectacle garden an ever-changing display of seasonal subtropical color wow boy this is nice really pretty look at this It's gorgeous. What a nice place to come and just get away from it all, so to speak. Look at these flowers. This is the subtropical garden. Bold textures, contrasting colors, unique flowers provide year-round interest under the shade of mature weeping fig trees. Quite beautiful. This would actually be a wonderful place to come and fly my drone. Look at this. It's gorgeous. And I see lizards running around. There's lizards everywhere at your feet as I'm walking. Boy, these Australians, they sure do. They sure do love their gardens. Beautiful. Look at that. There are no shortage of lizards here, that's for sure. Brisbane really does make a uh, a wonderful, wonderful impression on you, or at least it has on me. Queensland, for that matter, the state of Queensland really is a uh, a special place. see some lizards right over there I don't know how close they'll let me get to them I don't know if they bite or not look at that Boy, this has got drone written all over it. 
Really. Could really do some nice nice stuff in here with my drone. Alright, let's go check out some of the uh go check out some of the rest of the of the gardens here. And these these lizards are just everywhere. Everywhere you look. You've got these these lizards here. Look at that. Let's see. Oh, how close. Another, there's another one right there. They just seem oblivious to you. Look at that. You can almost get right, right on him. You can see? They don't mind. Not at all. Oh, a little too close. A little too close. There he is. I bet that, uh, looks good on your on your big screens just beautiful I'm actually running out of out of battery as I speak unfortunately so I'm limited in what I'm actually able to to share with you There's a gentleman back in central Michigan named Phil that's really appreciating this walkthrough of this special garden here, or gardens, I should say. That view right there. Boy, this would be so nice. So nice for a drone. Beautiful. the garden of seasonal color mass displays of seasonal flowering and bedding plants create an ever-changing tapestry of color and perfume against the jacandra crepe myrtle and cape chestnut trees Well, I didn't have to walk much further to find what I was looking for, the Enchanted Garden. And here it is. And this is uh, in the daytime. I'm actually going to come here in the evening to look at this. But I thought I'd share the day with you as well. Look at some of these beautiful, beautiful flowers here. Wow. Gorgeous. Look at that. So, as I understand, they, you need to have, you need to get a ticket, so to speak, or reserve a spot to come into the Enchanted Garden at nighttime. I think they only allow so many to come in. Oh, I wish I could capture that smell and share it with you, that fragrance. Really beautiful. Look at that. That's gorgeous. There are these lights right here. 
quite beautiful. Really, really beautiful. I would imagine this evening this will all be lit up. The trees and and everything. So I'll actually do two videos. One the Roma Parkland here during the the day. And then we'll come and take a look at this during the night. Which I think probably will be really something to see. Here you have the stairway to knowledge. Look at this. What a nice way to spend some time. Just over there is the children's playground. Well, the more time I spend here in Australia, the more appreciation I have for what this country has done with this spot of the world. Look at that. All right, now we will walk up a little bit further. Lest we forget, and I found my way to the memorial corner. And if there's another thing I've really come to appreciate about Australia, is the appreciation and gratitude that they have for their loved ones that have served this great country over the years. This is to commemorate and honor the Australian service personnel who served in Vietnam, the Australian Vietnamese War Memorial, 1962 to 1972. place all right so there is your uh, here's your your somewhat tour of the Roma Parkland here and we'll be back a little bit later and uh, I'm sure there'll be some beautiful sights to see after the Sun goes down